Money is an important factor in any political campaign, and so it was this year in the 2014 midterm elections. And so as we near Election Day on November 4th next week, it's worth having a look at what role money has played this year. First thing to know is this was an expensive campaign. The Center for Responsive Politics estimates $4 billion will be spent uh, in the midterm elections this year. The most expensive midterm ever means more dollars chasing each individual vote than ever before. But under that big umbrella, three uh, particular elements of the money game to keep in mind. One is Democrats held their own this year, maybe even did better than Republicans in some of the key states which are, are going to be electing senators. Um, it, the Center for Responsive Politics estimates when all is said and done, Republican groups and candidates will spend about $1.9 billion, Democrats about $1.8 billion effectively even. Uh, second thing is, as the Journal reported this week, business political action committees in the last couple of months have shifted their giving toward Republicans. Democrats were actually ahead among business PACs up through June, got about 61 percent of the vote. That shifted. Now that money in the last quarter has gone 58 percent to Republicans. So business money has moved a little bit. But third point, neither uh, party seems to have a big advantage at the end uh, in the stretch run. Both seem to have kept enough money aside to spend on their top priorities in the final days and weeks of the campaign. Final thought, it's a good thing both parties have set aside a little extra money. They're probably going to need them for runoffs in the Georgia and Louisiana Senate races, uh, neither of which is probably going to be decided on Election Day because no candidate will get 50 percent. So election sp spending this year does not end on Election Day itself.